cut. It's a deadly turf war between two elk in Canada's Banff National Park. And the Yoder family gets it all on tape. An older bull is helpless after getting his antlers stuck in a swing set. The young buck repeatedly rams the defenseless bull with his piercing horns. Park ranger Bill Moffat says battles like this are almost impossible to stop. If you come close to them within their space, you, you might be considered a threat and they'll charge at you. Horrified vacationers can no longer just stand by. Some honk their horns. <laughs> this man tries to stop the assault with a playground seesaw. Get out of there! Get out of there! Another man even sprays a can of mace. Their efforts are not only futile, they could be fatal. Ranger Moffat says, although their racks can be deadly, most elk will do all they can to avoid a fight. Because win or lose, they can expect to be injured. Once they're injured, they have to survive out there in the wild. They can't go to the doctors on duty or they get patched up. They're part of the food chain out there if they don't defend themselves. Ranger Moffat also believes this fight would have never happened if the elk hadn't been caught in the swing. When the older bull's antlers got stuck, the chains lifted him above the younger animal. In the wild, this is seen as a threatening move. And since the trapped elk was unable to free himself, the younger elk may have seen the elevated stance as a refusal to back down. His legs broke! The older animal is badly hurt, but his younger rival refuses to quit. There you go, now he's loose! Finally, he breaks free of the chains. But now everybody is in serious trouble. The fight heads directly at Dave, who's videotaping outside the family sedan. Hey, to everyone's relief, Dave makes it back into the car. She put it in gear and we got out there. But within seconds, the older elk collapses in defeat. It is a heartbreaking sight. After confirming his victory, the younger bull proudly struts off to claim his reward. But the most amazing part of this story happens a year later. When friends of the Yoders visit the park and hear from locals, the older elk not only survived, but made a full recovery.